auxiliary equipment and maintenance work, joints and gland packing. The gland packing is a contact type sealing element. Gland packing utilizes a braided rope-like material that is packed around the shaft of the pump. This fills the space between and prevents fluid loss from around the shaft. Gland packings are made of a combination of different materials such as cotton, glass fibers, aramid, acrylic, PTFE, and graphite fibers. Different types of gland packing. Jute gland packing. Used for general hydraulic purposes, low pressure steam service in pumps and valves. Flax gland packing. It is widely used in hydraulic applications. Cotton gland packing. This is widely used in pumps and sluice valves. Its flexibility allows the shaft to run freely as well as stops water entering into the motor. PTFE gland packing. It is used for sealing of pumps, valves, and sliders. The PTFE packing is relevant in all chemical conditions but is primarily used to seal hostile chemical systems, air, and steam up to 280 degrees Celsius. Aramid gland packing. Aramid packing is used for sealing pumps, tanks, valves, and sliders. Aramid packing can be used as well for sealing in a wide range of chemical hostile applications. Graphite fiber gland packing. It is a highly resistant sealant used in systems with valves, faucets, and stuffing boxes, as well as other machines with watertight mechanical parts. It can be applied either to static valve stems or to moving joints. How to cut gland packing. The gland packing should be cut with a sharp knife to avoid fraying of the edges. Do not use scissors or hacks or blade extra. A heavy-duty engineer's knife or a sharpened ordinary knife would do. There are two methods of cutting the gland packing. The first one is straight or at 90 degrees that is butt joint. And the second one is at 45 degrees that is skive joint. How to remove gland packings. Removing a gland packing can be very tough sometimes, especially if it is old and well set. You need to have specially contoured tools which the marine engineer learns well to make with experience. There are also gland packing extractors available in the market, which look like a corkscrew. They just have to be twisted to get a grip, and then the packings can be pulled out. How to measure the length of the packing required? For measuring the gland packing size the following methods can be used. Take the reference of the old removed packing and cut accordingly. Put the new gland packing on the shaft circumferentially or on a template and then mark and then cut the required length. How to insert the gland packing? The following are the cautions and the instructions while installing new gland packings. After the gland packings have been removed the spaces must be thoroughly cleaned with compressed air to ascertain that no residues of the old packing remain inside. The shaft must be carefully inspected for any abrasions and pitting marks and if any must be removed with 300 grit emery paper. In case it is not possible to smooth the surface, the sleeve must be changed at the next possible opportunity. The correct size of the packing should be referred from the instruction manual or measured. Fit each packing one by one with lots of lubricant and do not forget to stagger the same by 90 degrees each. Compress with the gland to ascertain that it goes inside evenly. Check that the shaft is free to rotate after the insertion of the gland packings. Running in of the gland packing. After the gland packing has been inserted in the pumps the pump must be allowed to run with a moderate leakage for 10 minutes and after that start tightening the nuts one turn every 5 minutes. Keep monitoring the temperature of the gland and if it is getting too hot slacken the same amount.
After another 5 minutes, tighten again, and, monitor the temperature. Please remember that a little leakage of about 10 drops a minute is required for the lubrication, and, the cooling of the gland packings.